Here's your field. Number one is True Sparkler, owned by Sylvia Burton of Bloomingdale and Steve Collier of Chicago. Brent Holland will drive. Two is D.B. Brody, owned by Allen and Jackie Bowen of Mount Sterling. Ron Lane of Monmouth. Neil Coleman will drive. Three is El Fuerte, owned by Jeff Driscoll of Carrollton. Richard Hess of Concord. Dean McGee drives. Number four is Fox Valley Token, owned by Charles Wolf of Harvard, Illinois. Patrick Wolf driving. Five is Rough It Up, owned by Thomas Graham Jr. of Salem. Dale Heitman will drive. Six is No Hassle, owned by Lester Banks of Sheridan, Illinois. Bruce Johnson of Chicago. Sam Ridger up. Number seven is Barley Corn Express, owned by John McGuire. And the William Hunter Estate of Alexis, Illinois. Ross Leonard will drive. And number eight is Incredicle, owned by Robert Waxman of Ancaster, Ontario. Eric Ledford will drive. And here they come. And they're off and pacing from the outside. That's in critical. Driving out for Ledford very quickly. In critical way well. Fox Valley took it and DB Brody down on the inside as they race to the first turn. In critical on the outside. He heads them into the turn, but DB Brody pacing very fast on the inside. He's still right there. And now in critical taken back by Ledford. And DB Brody has the lead by a neck. Fox Valley tokens out there in second. No hassle is pacing third on the inside. As we race around the first turn in criticals on the outside there for it. Racing fifth is two sparkler off the quarter in 26 and one fifth of a second. First quarter in 26 and a one. We swing up the back stretch for the first time as Fox Valley Token and Pat Berry by a half a length. DB brought it down on the inside, on the outside. Here comes in critical once again. And in critical now has a neck in front and we're flying down the back stretch. No rest here. First quarter was in 26 and 1. And critical on the outside by three parts of a length. Fox Valley Token is there. Second, DB Brody's third. The half in 54 and two fifths of a second. Off a half in 54 and two. It's in critical by a length. Fox Valley Token still second. DB Brody right there with the leaders. Third for Neil Coleman. And now DB Brody's out and going for Coleman. Racing fourth on the inside is no hassle. Back there, fifth is True Sparkler. We race through the final turn on the inside in Critical, who's had a tough trip. He leads by only a half a length. DB Brody's coming at him on the outside with just over a quarter of a mile to go. In Critical on the inside, DB Brody on the outside there, second. Fox Valley Token dropping back third. No hassle coming on fourth. We're at the head of the stretch, and here comes El Fuerte. He's three wide and flying on the outside for Dean McGee. Two-year-old paces are at the head of the stretch. Three quarters and one, 24 and three. It's DB Brody. He's got him by a neck. El Fuerte on the outside. He's blowing to the front for McGee, and El Fuerte is pulling away. El Fuerte with a big rush is going to win it. El Fuerte with a driving finish for Dean McGee wins it by six. No hassle was second. Rough it up was third. In critical, hangs on for fourth. Wood Farm sale last of fall. Turned him over to trainer Jeff Driscoll. And Jeff Driscoll has done a remarkable job with this cult, training him at the Green County Fairgrounds, going on to Chicago where he's been very competitive in state competition there. And now Jeff Driscoll is in the winner's circle as a part owner and trainer of El Fuerte, along with Dick Hess and driver Dean McGee and the Walker clan from down at Carrollton, Illinois, along with Dick and Cheryl Hess, who also campaign the good Black Cant Bone and Dick and Cheryl have raced Black Cant Bone throughout the Illinois County Fairs. He broke the track record yesterday at Altamont with a mile and 156 and three. And the Hesses who own Black Cant Bone have now broke five different County Fair track records with him this summer. This time, though, it's Dick and Cheryl Hess, Jeff Driscoll, Dean McGee, El Fuerte, 153 and one.